Well, as we talked about earlier, yesterday was the Rock and Roll Half Marathon, and although there wasn't any sun, there was still plenty of fun. Here's a look at how it went. Runners tighten their shoestrings. I want to make sure they have a great time. I've been told they've had a great time, and though the weather is not wonderful, uh, that this is not bad running weather. Kim Smith, a Providence College grad who holds the women's record for the fastest half marathon on U.S. soil, was among the crowd, as were local reality show stars Mike Naylor and Louis Cervato. Um, hard rock music right now. <laughs> yeah, right now. I've, I've got a little, my daughter made me a mix. It's going to last me the whole race, so I'm ready to go. And I'm, I'm sporting my, I'm, I got my swagger, my road show tattoos. Yeah, we, I got a few, a, a couple, when I take my shirt off to see the other ones. And with one single shot, the inaugural Providence Rock and Roll Half Marathon began. Over 7,000 athletes hit the pavement in the capital city for Sunday's 13.1 mile road race. It's a daunting distance, but there was more than a little encouragement along the route. A local band every mile. At mile three, the road show's big break winner, the Gillies, rocked catchy countrified tunes. That's when you find love. And through the rain, they ran and ran and ran. It's nice to be racing in Providence. I haven't raced here probably in about eight or nine years, so um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. The bands were awesome, but despite the rain, they were still under their tents and playing and keeping us motivated. What better reward for a long run on an August morning than a live concert at Station Park, headlined by the summertime sounds of Sugar Ray? so fantastic. We've had a, a good fortune spending a couple days here. It's been wonderful. From running to dancing, these rock and rollers enjoyed the concert, and so did the band. Something about playing our music in, uh, in the middle of the downtown, in front of a lot of people, it seems to uh, be a good fit for us. And a lot of our music is based on reggae, which we were raised on, and the Beach Boys, of course, the lilting harmonies, lots of melodies. So we're going to bring that today. So if it's raining and you're sitting there soaking wet, it's going to feel sunny internally, because that's what we bring, hopefully. What makes a concert like this so different? The long distance, the endurance, the stamina, a marathon, that's all a mental game. These people are very strong mentally as well, so I'm impressed. And joining us this morning is race organizer and senior vice president of competitor group Tracy Sumlin. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Now, we, Providence got its first taste of the rock and roll half marathon. How do you think it went? Thrilled. A little wet, but thrilled. <laughs> um, record set. I've been doing events for now 40 plus years. Never have I been that wet for that long. Wow. So congratulations, Providence. Congratulations to, to all who competed, one of which was Kim Smith, who won the women's division. And, and how important was it for a Providence native to, to win this? Absolutely thrilling. I mean, when you start by knowing that she's really one of the premier runners in the world. Mm -hmm. um, she had a disappointing run in, in Boston. This was her first real effort back. It's her first race in 10 years in Rhode Island. Wow. Um, it was just very, very cool to have a Rhode Island native, the premier runner, doing her thing on, the, uh, on Providence streets. Um, very, very cool. My father was really looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, your, your father, like you mentioned, was of course uh, late former governor Bruce Sunlin, and, and he was really the one that brought this to the city. Do you think he would have been, been proud of how it went? You know, I'm sitting there wondering if I didn't give him a good enough Christmas present because <laughs> <laughs> he could have postponed that rain. I mean, he had a lot of power, right? Um, but, uh, he, you know, he saw us creating these events around the country and he mm -hmm. said, well, what are we, chopped liver? I, I want one here. Yeah. Um, and he'd come to a couple of them. And so it was really his, his pushing to get us to bring one here. Then, you know, working with the folks like John Gibbons and Martha Sheridan, um, and then ultimately with Sergeant Mark Mart Martinez, um, really some great, great folks in the city, um, both mayors, Cicilline and Tavares, really uh, brought it along. It was very cool. It was yeah. very cool. And, and the numbers, could you, how many runners were, were participating yesterday, roughly? Well, we had just over, just under 7,300 registered. Wow. And we had just under 5,800 finished, which is a normal 
piece. And I honestly, I, looking at that weather, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been surprised to see us down around 5,000. But the bottom line is that is the largest half marathon ever in New England. Um, and so very, very cool. 80% um, came from outside of Rhode Island. We we're doing surveys along at registration. Mm -hmm. People are staying five, six days. Even Rhode Islanders were staying in Providence in, in hotels. <laughs> That's great. Um, great so, no, city. everybody's pretty thrilled. Um, the early returns on Facebook and everywhere else are, are very positive. Um, so, so, bigger and better next year, let's hope. Yeah, like you mentioned, it's going to be here next year. I want to thank you so much for joining us today and for bringing the race to Providence. I had a blast. If you want tips on training for next year or to check out picks, from this year's run or even a link to find out how you did in the race. We've got it all on foxprovidence.com.